Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to generate a customer loan statement. A customer loan statement is a document that shows how a customer has been paying on a loan. And a customer may approach your office with a need to know how he stands on his loan account. Is he progressing? Are where the transactions recognized by your system? So on our loan tab, we come to customer loan statement. When you click it, a form will pop up. Uh, let's minimize the ribbon here. Uh, we can as well minimize the title bar. And let's maximize our form. So that we may focus on it very well. Now on this form, you will select the date range which the customer needs to know. Probably since he took the loan. Let's say for example from the beginning of the year to the current month. Down here you select the loaning number only. The rest of the fields shall be populated apart from the transaction charge here which will, you will put in to charge the customer for the uh, for, uh, for the statement which you have to print. Here, let's go to loan number four. For it will tell you that loan number four belongs to this customer, Rince Williams Graham. Doesn't have a name, money on the account. That's a challenge. Um, you can save your report. When you save view report, it will generate a report for you. Uh, let's try to increase under zoom. Um, it will look like this briefly. It will load the institution details at uh, the period you've given here from and the end start date and date and we have columns here for you actually before that you, you, you check the details of the customer here which are here in these text fields it's the same information indicated here down here it will show you loan payment date when the customer has been paying the loan. The loan payment number here. The principal repaid and the total down here. This last law is for the total. It will be reducing. It will be reducing. Each time you pay, it will reduce on the principal here. Let's try to max to, to increase the zoom. But I'm saying at uh, this first transaction we talked about it it's auto generated yet has no problem but still the, if if there were figures here they would reduce on this figure on the principal balance to figure here to this uh, this figure would in, would be would be lower now this customers made two payments here this one and it reduced this figure to this one he paid the second time it reduced this figure to this figure currently her loan balance on the principal is this the same way her principal her interest balance is this from this total up this is the, the balance and he has paid a, uh, a total of in a total interest totaling to this amount as well as principal total into this. So if you add these two values, you come up to this. And if you add up these two, they are also they total or they sum up to this. Our other fees are not indicated here, but they are indicated in the summary down here. 
and in case a customer may not uh, be familiar with understanding this table though it's very simple to understand since a customer can quickly know or can watch how uh, the principal balance is reducing each month he pays and decide but summary uh, since he took a loan of 2.5 million he has so far paid the principal of this which is totaling to this the total loan he took here is the total amount up here and the total principal paid here is the summation indicated here so he has a balance of this this customer and this figure is the same figure here the same way to interest this amount here the interest loan is the same as this up here here and he has paid this amount nine hundred nine ninety eight thousand three hundred fifty six which is indicated below here so he has a balance of this which is which is as well indicated up here the other fees which are optional at loan uh, at, uh, at loan initiation loan processing fee loan consolidated fee they're also indicated here as well to track how they they, they have been paid though not indicated up here they are they indicated down here the total amount amount so far paid and amount uh, the balance here so uh, essentially that's how uh, the statement will look like and if you want to print it you have to keep in some money here for to charge the client for printing okay and i will say generate report it will deduct the other money from the account of the customer account has been has not been modified there is a problem with the figure possibly the negative here but this time uh, you have a print button indicated in the first instance you won't be able to see it but now you can see here the print button is indicated and you can print this uh, this report for the customer this is statement for the customer you select a printer you say print and you give a copy to the customer and you can also keep a copy in the office if you feel like if you are tracking the loan for this customer uh, that's how we do that it's very simple and the report looks so nice and the customer will easily understand this report so that's how we do it I hope you've enjoyed uh, the tutorial uh, thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye